Hello everyone, and today I'll be talking about the top 5 PC building misconceptions. So, let's begin. Number 6 is cable management. I think cable management is very important. Bad cable management can result in a bad looking PC of course, or even less airflow in your system. Since this is not that important, I'm listing this as number 6. Number 5. Cheap PSUs. I'm talking about this from my own experience. If you buy a cheap PSU, it could, it could, it could explode on you, because they usually don't deliver as much as they claim. I currently have a 400 watt PSU from EVGA, which was $20, and though it's not going to explode, because, I mean, it's EVGA, it doesn't mean, it uh, doesn't mean it's going to explode, but it is going to make a lot of coil whine and squeaky noise. Now this may differ from different user to user, but that's just how it is for me and for some people. Number 4, case fans. Now this is something very much overlooked. Case fans matter a lot and it's important to either balance out your intake and outtake fans or add more intaking fans than outtaking ones because this uh, having more outtaking ones than intaking ones will result in a uh, more dust getting in your system and not be good. Number 3, motherboard standoffs. It's important to keep your MOBO on standoffs to make sure it does not zap your MOBO. If your MOBO touches your case, it could build up static and shock your MOBO. With standoffs, the anti-static part of your MOBO touches your case while the rest of the motherboard is above and does not touch the case. Number two, which is what I consider very, very vital, is GPU sag. If your GPU is sagging, it could easily break off your MOBO's PCIe slot. It's that simple, so just make sure if you have a bigger GPU to put some support on it, or if you have a smaller one, or this applies to bigger ones also, make sure you screw in your brackets correctly. And finally, number one, anti-static gloves or wrist strap. This is what I call the most important thing in PC building. Static. Make sure you either ground yourself to your PSU, or wear anti-static gloves or a wrist strap. Otherwise, you're at the risk of zapping any of your brand new PC components, whether they're used or new. So that's it everyone, I hope you all learned something. Make sure you give this video a like or a dislike and subscribe for more content, and I'll talk to you all in the next video. Bye.